Alrighty guys, hello, good morning, happy Oscar nominations reveal morning. I am up, I am ready, I am about to throw on YouTube because today is the morning is of the Oscar nomination. So we're going to see exactly what's been nominated, what's been snubbed, and I'll give some feelings about it, I guess. There's still just like so many things that I need to see that I'm interested in seeing. And so I'm very excited for just all of this, just to see exactly how things will shake up. Also, like, I just could not imagine trying to do this early in the morning. Like it's like 5.30 on the, on the West Coast. Like I am tired right now, <laughs> even though I got off from work today, not off from work today. We have like um, a professional development day and I chose to go to a museum and the museum doesn't open till 10. So I was very happy that that was able to work out for me. So that way I'm able to watch and see uh, before I head out and, you know, learn something go and be fun with it. I really don't know what's going to happen. I got, I got my Wes Anderson shirt, my Mendel's from Grand Budapest Hotel in hopes that Asteroid City maybe gets something. Um, I hope that the wonderful story of Henry Sugar gets nominated. I hope that wins. That would be a great win for Wes Anderson because he hasn't won any Oscars yet. And so that's what I'm also hoping for. And I just really don't know what's gonna happen. Will there be snubs? Will it be easy? Like, I don't know, I have all of my predictions here so I can kind of check off as they go. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Jack Quaid and Zazie Beetz just walked out. For best performance by an actor all right, supporting, in a supporting actor. Role. Sterling K. Brown <gasps> in American Fiction. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Which of the poor boys is not getting it? Oh, Willem's not getting it. Robert Downey Jr. Yep. In Ryan. Wow. Oh, Willem. Oh, no. I picked both. Poor things, boys. Oh boy, oh this is so fast. Oh gosh. Barbie. Yes, okay, I have that. Oh, okay. Oh, I should have put that. Napoleon. Dang it. Oppenheimer. And poor Wow, I did stinko on that one. The nominees for achievement in makeup and hairstyling are Golda. Ah, I should have guessed that. Maestro. Mm-hmm. Oppenheimer. Yep. Poor thing. Yep. And society. Okay. Of the snow. Okay. Now, this year's nominees for best live action short film. Oh, I think I guessed that. Oh no, I didn't. Invincible. Oh shoot! Night of Fortune. Oh, I don't know any of these. Red, white, and blue. Oh no! And oh, thank God! Story of oh, we we did it, Wes. We did it, <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh my gosh! For best animated short film, okay. Nominees are. This is so quick. To a pig. Oh, I guess that one. Yes, right. Ninety-five senses. Uniform. Oh shoot! They didn't do the Disney one. And war is over. They didn't do the Disney one. Oh my gosh! I thought that they would because that'd be such an easy the the Once Upon a Studio. That'd be such an easy one to give Disney. And now we have the first of the two award categories honoring writers. Okay. First for adapted screenplay. The adapted, 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 adapted. Okay. American fiction. Yes. Written for the screen by Cord Jefferson. Got that. Nice. Barbie. Got that. Nice. Written by Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach. Oppenheimer. Oh. Screen, oh shoot. They Nolan. didn't give it to Killers. Poor things. Screenplay by Tony McNamara. And the Zone of Interest. Written by Jonathan Glazer. Wow. Man, I stink. And for original screenplay, the nominees are 
And I really got four. Anatomy of a fall. Perfect. Screenplay. Justine Trier and Artur Harari. The Holdover. Yep. Written by David Hemmingson. Maestro. Yep. Right, let's go, baby. And Josh Singer. May December. Yes! Okay, past lives. That'll be perfect. Come on. Come on. And Alex Mechanic. And yes! <laughs> yes! Look at that! Perfect! Perfect! For original screenplay! Before a break! A break! Oh no! Okay. Supporting role. Emily Blunt. Yes! Emily! You, 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 you! Danielle Brooks. Alright. <gasps> oh! Oh shoot! I didn't think they gave it to her. Oh no! And Oof. Divine Joy Randall in the holdovers. Oh boy, so I guess Julianne Moore. I okay. Oh gosh. So that was so fast. Okay. So all right. So they didn't give it to Willem Dafoe, even though he was nominated for the SAG Award. So that really was interesting to me. Um but then I got the right with like um, the three R's, Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr., Ryan Gosling, got Mark Ruffalo. Um, awesome. I already forgot who got the other supporting actor. Oh, Sterling K. Brown did. Oh, I love Sterling K. Brown. I haven't seen American Fiction yet, but I love Sterling K. Brown. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, and then I got Perfect for original screenplay. So I'm very happy about that. I'm surprised Killers didn't get in for adapted screenplay, but that probably means that the Zone of Interest is going to, along with Anatomy of a Fall, get nominated for Best um, Best Picture, which would be super cool to see two foreign films get in because I don't think that's ever really happened before. So what am I thinking? Um, I'm really surprised. Now the shorts are something that I wish I knew more about and I do want to try to, even though only the 15 of them, the five in live action, five in animated and five in documentary, even though those are the only ones that will essentially move on to the next round, I still want to try to watch all of them that were shortlisted. My biggest surprise is, well, there's two. I really thought A Strange Way of Life would get in just because that's an Ethan Hawke and Pedro Pascal um, movie. But that didn't get in. Um, I heard great things about the Anne Frank gift shop for live action short as well. But that also didn't get in. Um, but Wes, we did it. We did it, Wes. Um, so I'm very happy about the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. I hope that wins. Um, and I'm really surprised for animated short that Once Upon a Studio get, didn't get in. And I think I'm surprised about that is because I don't really have Disney winning animated feature this year. I do have them getting nominated for both Wish and Elemental. And I guess soon we'll find out whether or not that's right. Um, oh my gosh, the off screen central group chat is just blowing up as I'm viewing it here on my phone. Um, go read, go to offscreencentral.com and read all the reviews and interviews and all that fun stuff over there. Great group of women. Back to Disney. So I'm, I really don't think that, um, Disney's going to win this year, let alone I have them getting nominated for both Elemental and Wish just because when some people nominate for animated feature, they just go with Pixar and Disney. So, but I'm like, okay, I don't think those are going to win though. I think they'll get nominated, but I don't think they'll win. And so that's why I'm like, oh, give them Once Upon a Studio. It's celebrating the 100 years of Disney. It'll easily be able to get in. And then like that can be Disney's award essentially, but that's not the case. Like it didn't get nominated and I'm really surprised. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what's gonna happen now. Supporting actress, like I said, I basically got all those um, except for America Ferrero, which is fun and different. Back. All right, we're back. Live. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> the Academy in Beverly Hills, where we have the privilege of announcing the nominees for the Oscars. What an exciting lineup so far. What's up next? The nominees for achievement in music, original song. Song. Dear Alien. Inside from Flame and Hot. Dang it. <laughs> we almost did it, Wes. I'm just. Yes. 
I'm just Ken. I'm just Ken from Barbie. <laughs> it never went away from American. I should have guessed that. Wajaji, a song for my people from Killers of the Oh Black shoot! So it's not gonna be here. And oh, Road, Road to Freedom! <gasps> oh no! Next up, the nominees for Achievement in Music, Original Score. American Fiction. What? India Dang it, I can't. Oh, I should have guessed John Williams. You never doubt John Williams. Yes. Oppenheimer. Yes. And? All right. So no zone of interest. I also guess Boy and the Heron just for fun skis. Now, but American Fiction. Best documentary feature film. Documentary. Okay. Bobby Wine, the people's <sighs> president. Oh shoot! So no American Symphony. The eternal memory. Oh, I got that. No Beyond Utopia. Four daughters. I should have guessed that. To kill a tiger. Wow. Oh, oops. Oh, so no Michael J. Fox. Okay, so I did put the 20 days first because I thought numbers went before letters. But no American Symphony. Oh, my. Yep. Got that. Saw that. That was cute. I like that one a lot. Yes, let's go. Dang it. Dang it. The last repair shop. And Nine Eye and Waipo. Okay. All right. For best international feature film. International. The nominees are. Io Capitano. Oh, Italy. shoot. Perfect days. Yes. Japan. Yes. The of the snow, Spain. And then Taste of Things and Interest. The Teacher's Lounge. Germany. Oh, I got to see that. Oh, so, all right. I also guessed Fallen Leaves and the Taste of Things. But wow. And for best animated feature film. All right. Here are the nominees. Let's go. <laughs> the boy uh, and yep, yep, yep. Mazaki. Nice. Okay. Pneumonia. Got that. Spider Man. Robot Dream. Oh. And Spider Man. So no Susan May. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna get in, but I would have loved that. In production design. Oh gosh, okay. Barbie. Oh, no asteroid city. Sorry, Wes. Killers of the Flower Moon. Shoot, I should have guessed that. Napoleon. Dang it! Oppenheimer. Ugh. And poor things. Things. All right. I guess Priscilla, because I was confident. I guess Salt Burn and Asteroid City, because I was confident. Editing. editing, okay. Anatomy of a Fall. I knew I should have put that. Ah! Yep. Killers. Yep. So I guess this one Maestro's not going to be here. Yep, I'm right. And then Poor Things. And Poor Things. All right. And for achievement in sound, here are the nominees. Ah, where's my sound? The creator. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Maestro. Okay. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. Oppenheimer. Oppie. And Zone of Interest? And yes. The zone of interest. I also guess Ferrari, because that would have been obvious, in my opinion. And The Killer. The nominee oh, well. for achievement in visual effects. Ah. The creator. Aha! That I guessed. Godzilla. Godzilla yes! I still haven't seen it, but there's so much love for that movie. Guardians yes! Galaxy, okay. Poor things in Spider-Man? No! Okay, Mission not getting perfect here. And Napoleon. Oh, shoot! For achievement in cinematography, the nominees are El Conde. Okay, that was one that I, I probably should have switched out the color purple. The yep. Maestro. Maestro, yep. Oppenheimer, yep. And 
All right. Her performance by an actor in a leading. Oh gosh. Oh, all right. Here, here we go. Here we go. Bradley Cooper. Ah, I guess that works my list. <laughs> all right. Home and Domingo. Yep. 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 All right. Killian Murphy and Oppenheimer. And Jeffrey Wright. All right. Yes. Perfect. I did it. Yes. For performance by an actress in a leading role. <laughs> this audience, man. Annette Benning. Oh, no. Lily yes. Oh no. Greta's not getting in. Greta's not getting in. Sandra. All right. I have to see that so bad. Carrie Mulligan. Yeah. Oh, Greta Lee. And then Emma Stone. Yep. Annette. Nothing against Annette, but. <gasps> oh my gosh! I didn't think they could. Yes! Got him! Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer. Yorgos Lanthimos, poor thing. Okay. And Jonathan Glazer. All right, I guessed Bradley and I guessed Greta. Neither got it, but Justine! And now for our final Just category. Three. All right, here's a big one. Let's go. I'm panicking. Best motion picture of the year are American. Yes. Ben LeClaire, Nikos, Haramigos, Corey Jefferson, and Jermaine Johnson, producers. Anatomy of a Fall. Yes. All right, two for two. Let's freaking go. And Barbie. Got it. All right. Let's go. Yes. Right. I'm so smart. I got four. Yes, I got five. I'm so smart. Bradley Thomas, Martin Scorsese, and Daniel Lupi, producers. Maestro. Yes, I am so smart. Fred Berner, Amy Durning. Oh, what if it's like Nyad? Woo, woo, that was, ooh, ooh, I had, a, I had a panic for a second. Oh, gosh. My whole life flashed before my eyes. Yes! And the zone of interest. Are we going 10 for 10? And Emma Stone, producer. Let's go! I did it! I'm so smart! On Josepo. Congratulations to this year's nominees. It's been an honor to be with all of you this morning. And to all the nominees, as we say in the biz, break a leg. Mm. Good luck to all the nominees. All right. Watch the Oscars live with host Jimmy Kimmel on Sunday. Okay, I think we are done. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Zazie. All right, let's quickly go over this before my brain explodes. So let's talk, let's review, let's go over everything. Okay, um, picture was fun. I really liked all of those. I really don't think there was any surprises. I was really, I, I had a slight panic attack for a second because I did think Nyad was going to get in there. Um, but we did good there. Director, I really had confidence that they were going to nominate Bradley Cooper, but I guess they didn't along with Greta Gerwig, but I'm very happy about Justine Trier. Not only is it really hard for international films to get in, but also get nominated for other things besides international. Great. Love that. Actor, guessed it all right. Very happy about that. Congrats. Um, best actress. I'm really upset about Greta Lee. Uh, I didn't think she was going to get in. I was really thinking maybe I should change it to Margot Robbie, but then Annette Bening came in and I should have just guessed Annette Bening because it's Annette Bening. I haven't even seen the movie. I can't really complain about Annette being in there. Um, 
supporting actor. I am so happy for Sterling K. Brown. Like, yes, King, go. Um, I like love that for him. And then let's see what else. Nothing really. I'm a, oh adapted screenplay. Zone of Interest got in, and I really thought Killers of the Flower Moon was going to get in, so I don't know what Killers is going to get. I really did like that movie, but I guess maybe at this point it's only going to get, if it wins anything, probably Lily Gladstone, maybe? But she's kind of in a two-horse race now with Emma Stone, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, Original score. Mm. Sound, I really thought Ferrari was going to get in for sound. That one surprised me. Um, original song, I'm surprised Road to Freedom, the Rustin song, didn't get in. And it looks like Rustin's only nomination is now going to be Coleman Domingo. And so I'm happy about that for him. Nothing for the color purple. No, that's a lie. I lied. Daniel Brooks for the color purple. But other than that, nothing else for that as well. <laughs> I'm looking at the chat right now for the Oscars because I still have it up on my screen and it says fly Eagles fly it's like yeah the Eagles fans are everywhere um what else I'm happy about Godzilla minus one getting in for special effects I think it, it looks fun and I do want to go see it before um or at some point so let's see here costumes I stunk with production I stunk with makeup and hairstyling I got three of them so I didn't super stink there but um international feature I um I really thought Fallen Leaves was going to get in for international just because it did well at the Globes and by that I mean it had like besides just international feature it also was nominated for actress in a comedy uh but the teacher's lounge makes me happy because I'm a teacher and I still haven't seen the teacher's lounge but I would love to so that's fun. Let's see your animated. No surprises there, except for Robot Dreams, which I do want to see. So I'm very surprised there. Um, but for documentary, they nominated the American Symphony song, but they didn't nominate American Symphony or the Michael J. Fox one. Like Michael J. Fox is such a huge person in the movie industry, at least back in the 80s and 90s in the te television industry. So I'm very surprised there. And Beyond Utopia too. I heard great things about that. So I'm surprised that didn't get in. I really thought for a second that they weren't going to put in 20 Days in Mario Pool, which also has been doing very, very well, but they did. I just, I thought they would put 20 Days first when I was making my little list of trying to organize them so I knew who was coming when, essentially, for my predictions. Go Wes Anderson for live action short. Very happy for the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. Um, other than that, nothing that I really haven't talked on before. This was fun. Um, I guess there's not really any s huge super surprises that I saw. Oh, I mean, I guess the first one was Sterling K. Brown, but other than that, I'm, I'm happy about this. I don't know. I think I'm pretty okay. Um, I'll have to check the group chat from Off Screen Central um, as I'm putting this together, but we're here. We made it. It's another Oscar season. Now let's try to whittle these down and see who I think is going to win overall. But let me know what you guys think. How did you like this year's Oscar nominations? Are any of the, uh, did any of like your favorite films get nominated? Let me know all of that and more down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I gotta head out to a museum. So I'll catch you next time. <laughs>